Now I know you've seen many reviews of Twitter clients in the past, but I'm bringing you a new one, and this one's free, and it looks pretty much like Tweety, which you would pay $10, $20 for. Now let's get started. So right here we have our tabs up top, which tell us our home, which is going to be everyone we follow, pretty much everything they do, and if we head over here, it's going to show us the retweets and stuff like that. Now let's go to at replies. These are the, all the at replies that come to us retweets not retweeted by us Every, let's say someone you follow gets retweeted whatever gets retweeted by that person shows up here it might have been confusing but it's basically just a way to repeat what you already saw over here so I really don't see the use of this we have our direct messages to me and as you can see right here it's a sent message it goes back and forth now right here we have all our sent messages or sent tweet sent tweets excuse me all of the tweets I have ever done and while we're on this page let me just bring something up we have the ability to bring up twit pics and pictures stuff like that I'm not sure how many websites they have supported in here but twit pic obviously is supported I, I believe why frog is too and it pops up right there at usual size and we have our lists. Unfortunately, I have um, not taken advantage advantage of this feature. Last but not least, we have a few things up here. We have this that makes it look like a little bit more like a mail app. It shows me the exact number of tweets I still have to read. It would show me the number of mentions and so on. Let's head back here. And as you can see, this Twitter client is really focused on tweets you saw and what you haven't seen. I can mark all of my tweets as seen or I can do hide scene. Well, now you think you're stuck and you can't go back, just click this arrow and it'll show you all your tweets again. Nambu is not only a one account Twitter client. You can have multiple Twitter accounts. You just head over to Nambu preferences, accounts, click the nice plus sign and then you're good. Now this is also really nice. Right on this page, I can change what short link I want and what um, Twitter picture client I want. And I always go with TwitPic. I don't know, it's just a preference. And another main thing why people will want to switch to a Nambu, that's what it's called. I might not have mentioned that in the beginning. It's called Nambu. You can download it just by Google searching Nambu Twitter client, client Mac. Now what I'm talking about is Wheat deck takes up almost 20 megabytes more than Nambu does. Now, when I did this earlier today, it TweetDeck was still 96 and Nambu was about 50. So I thought it was about half, and I'm a little surprised right now, seeing that Nambu's only 20 megabytes left less. Well, that is still it's 20 megabytes. You can be using that on something else. Now that we're down here, I want to show you guys something else. Let's say I want to tweet Chris Perillo. Instead of having to copy and paste his name or memorize it, I just start typing it and press enter. There we go. His name's right there. I'm not going to spell it wrong. While we're tweeting, we can also shorten URLs, share an image, and share a snapshot. Now this is unfortunate that I can't drag and drop a picture in here. Let's do an example. Just go shift command four, take a small picture. If I try to drag it in here, it's just going to give me where the lo where it's located. It's not going to add it as a twit pick. I would have to go into this gear, add an image or share an image, head over to my desktop and add this screenshot and then it will automatically upload it as a twit pick. And as you can see right here, it says automatically shorten URLs. That's a must and that's a need. When I want to reply to Dylan Mitchell, it will show up down here as a reply. Well, what if you want to retweet? That's easy. Just click this gear or you could right click on any tweet. So I'm going to right click on John for Lakers and bed. I could easily reply, reply all, retweet. Now this retweet is different. This is what you see. I don't want to do that yet. This is what you see right here. It doesn't show the R RT and the at um, symbol. But to do that, which is very nice, some Twitter clients do not offer both ways, I can do a traditional retweet. Now look at that. Retweet at John for Lakers and bed. That's the retweet I like.
So it, it's awesome that they allow you to do that. I can do a direct message. I can also quote the tweet. This is how some tweet, Twitter clients retweet anyways. And bed via at John for Lakers. So there's so many ways you can retweet a message in Nambu. I can follow or unfollow. I can mute the user for how long. Let's say Chris is having one of those days where he tweets, I don't know, 10 tweets an hour 20 tweets an hour I can I can mute him for a day maybe he'll calm down later I can automatically translate the user this is pretty nice let's say you find some Spanish tweeter that you really like and you just you're sick of how it's always in Spanish you're heading over to Google Translate you can automatically have Nambu translate their Spanish into English now from what I know you can only translate into English you can't translate out of English I can block this user report a spam and I can email link copy link to tweet and view on Twitter this will take me to twitter.com another way to view something on Twitter is clicking a link instead of clicking the picture which will open up a twit pick right here I'll click the link and it'll take me over to Safari I hope you guys enjoyed this review I sure love Nambu it is my new Twitter client since I've gotten my new iMac and I will see you guys in the next video